Dear friend, welcome to the spoken tutorial on here document and string. In this tutorial, we will learn about special purpose redirection called here document and here string with the help of some example. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us learn about here document. It is a special purpose block of text or code. It is a form of I.O. redirect. It feeds a command list to an interactive program or command line. It can be treated as a separate file. It can also be treated as multiple line input redirected to a shell script. Syntax is command space, less than, less than, space, here. After this, on the next line, we can give the text inputs. It can consist of any number of lines. Here, text1, text2, text n are the text inputs. After the text inputs, on the next line, we type the keyword here again. It denotes the closing of here document. Let us understand this with an example. I will open a file named here.sh. The first line of code is shebang line. Let me put a block of code after this line. wc represents word count. wc hyphen w counts the number of words in the here document. The block of code or text until the second occurrence of here will be treated as a file. The content present in here document is an input to the command wc-w. Here acts as a delimiter for wc-w command while reading multi-line input. If we try to execute the same command in the terminal, we should get 4 as an output. This is because we have passed 4 words to the command wc-w. Now click on save to save the file. Let us switch to the terminal using Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type chmode space plus x space here dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash here dot sh. Press enter. We can see the output as 4. That is, number of words in here document is 4. Come back to our program. Let us add two more words here at the beginning of the text. Hello and welcome to bash learning. Click on save. Let us execute the program again. On the terminal type dot slash here dot sh. Press enter. Now the output is 6 because we added two more words to our text. We can also pass an argument to the here document. Let us see how to do this with an example. Let me open a file named hereoutput.sh. The command cat will concatenate files and print the standard output. Note that we have used the string this instead of here. It's not necessary that you always have to use the delimiter here. You can use any other delimiter also. This line will display the zeroth argument. The zeroth argument by default is the file name. 
this line will display the first argument passed to the program. And this line will display the second argument passed to the program. Here we have to close the document using the same delimiter, this. Save the file. Let us now execute the program. On the terminal, type chmod space plus x space here output dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash here output dot sh space sunday space monday. The output is displayed as zeroth argument is dot slash here output dot sh which is the file name. First argument is Sunday, second argument is Monday. Let us learn about here string now. Here string is used for input redirection from text or a variable. The input is mentioned in same line within single quotes. The syntax is command space three less than symbols space within single quote write string. Let us understand this with an example. I will open the same file here.sh. Here, at the end, I will type wc space hyphen w three less than symbols space within single quotes welcome to bash learning. This will redirect the string within quotes to the command wc hyphen w. Now click on save to save the changes. We will switch to the terminal. Now type dot slash here dot sh. We can see the output as 6 and 4. Number of words in here document is 6 and number of words in here string is 4. Likewise, you can write your own here strings. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about here document, here string. As an assignment, convert a string to uppercase using here document, here string. Hint, tr space a hyphen z space capital A hyphen capital Z. This is the command to convert characters from lower to upper case. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorial, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, Please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial team. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.